Now before we sing anything, because normally we go right into singing, but y'all not loud enough for me. They've been working real hard. This is 15 years worth of work.
Did y'all like that? Yeah! Give it up for them one more time. Yeah! Uh, don't get tired of me yet now. I know it's early. All right. We go sing, we go sing, we all have a good time. My name is Jerron, I'm the director and founder of the San Francisco State University Gospel Choir, AKA Gospel Gators. We are here today to give you a little joy and uh, high spirits. Y'all you know, gotta help us out. So we gonna give you in, a lot of energy, y'all gotta give it right back, okay? Now I know y'all probably thinking, well we already paid money to get in here, we paid $20, uh-huh, I know you did. <laughs> See, but my thing is, you know, my mom always told me this. She probably didn't, but I'm gonna just act like she did. <laughs> now, why are you gonna spend your money on something that you're not gonna enjoy? Right? So you better come and make some noise, Jill. Let them know they're doing, doing a good job, you know? Because they could have been doing other things. They're in college, singing gospel music, coming together, creating family, you know? We young people, you know, like they always try to make it seem like young people could be doing other, uh, all the young people selling drugs. No, we're not. <laughs> Look at us. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on along. Okay, the next song that we're gonna sing is Super Pretty. And uh, I hope that you uh, enjoy the words. This will be led by someone we know affectionately as Mama T.
So, God is good. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm glad some of y'all are here. What y'all say? Well, how often? Oh, yeah. Great and mighty. Um, so, next is the pro portion of the, uh, the concert, which I really, really enjoy. Every year, every semester, like clockwork, what we do is we have something that we call the student selected soloist. And so what we do is we um, have all of the choir members sing, and uh, what happens is they do this in class, and they choose who they want to represent them as the, you know, standout soloist. It happened again this semester. And this person that was chosen is uh, somebody that's very special to Gospel Gators. Um, extremely, extremely talented, great energy. Uh, he really knows uh, how to sing with. And. So, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce to you one more time, Jace. Come on, Jace! Um, so, I basically chose this song because um, they said choose something that inspired you, and um, this semester has been really hard. And the artist who made this song, his name is Devin Morrison. And he basically talks about, in the song, like, you know, Jesus is not a fairy tale. And it took me to heart because I felt like for a moment I forgot that. But the song reminded me of it, so I wanted to do it tonight for you. Are y'all ready? All right, let's do it. Come on. Come on. Shout it out and have that to a heat. Oh. You got it. I'm not as woke as you are. Regardless, I can't help but notice all those terracotta and crystals vibrating high frequencies. But there's still some fear and anxiety. So if you want that peace of mind, peace of friend of mind, you'll never waste your time. You ain't gotta take it from me. Just taste and see in your mind. It's not a fair tale. I'm talking about Jesus. He's as close as the mention of the name. Oh, I never thought of friends like this. There is no joy like anything that we can make. I know we have worries and anxiety, but if you want that peace of mind, a friend of mine, my everything, you never waste your time. You gotta take it from me, just pray and see in your mind. He's not a fairy tale. I know him so very well. I ain't talking about feelings, yes, I'm talking about it. Yes, I'm talking about Jesus. Come on. He's not a fairy tale. I know him so very well. I ain't talking about feelings. Yes, I'm talking about friends. Yes, I'm talking about Jesus. Girl, you've been wondering, wondering what the future holds. Someone who does the fun that cares for you. Do it again. Let me give you the message. Girl, you've been wondering, pondering what the future holds. Oh, baby, nobody knows. But I know someone who does the fun that cares for you. Yes, come on, I said. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Y'all ready? Now I'm not gonna direct this song. Is that all right? All right. Y'all want to see? Y'all got to hear Jay sing. Are you? You want to hear him? See him direct? Yeah. Y'all want to see Jay direct? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, you fast. Okay. You ready, huh? You ready? We gonna do it? We gonna do it? Okay. Uh, y'all ready for it? Yeah! Okay, y'all need to groove with it now. I said one, two, one, two,
check in. Who y'all here to see? I heard a Francesca. I heard a... Who? Do I hear? I heard an Aisha. What? So listen. Actually, one of my favorite songs of uh, the gospel dancers of all time. Uh, this person that, that wrote it is actually like a mentor of mine, and I was lucky enough to be able to meet him. Um, super nice guy. Uh, Kirk Franklin. This song tells a story, uh, it's called Don't Cry. It tells the story of uh, Mary at the tomb of uh, her son. Jesus. And um, just imagine this set setting for a second. Uh, imagine um, a loved one, whether it be your child or mother, father, you know, grandparent. Um, you, you had to watch them be brutally murdered. And then, um, on top of that, you go back to just checking, you know, grieve at the grave site. And the body is gone. So in this moment, she's in the midst of crying. Because what she believes is that someone stole her son's body. But just as uh, she's in the middle of her grief, an angel, the choir, begins to whisper these words in her ear. So listen closely, don't cry.
All right, give it up for our musical director, Mr. Anthony White. Give it up for Jerome one more time. Jerome Thompson. This is the 15th year anniversary, and um, a lot of this, almost all of this, was his vision. So he's a big part of why we're here today, so we need to applaud that. We definitely need to applaud that. And give the choir one more hand. The choir, you guys are I count it an honor and a privilege to be your music director. I've been your music director for about five years, and I just love the energy that these students bring, and I'm just happy to be their music director. And thank you for allowing me to be your music director. So, this part of the program is special to me because it highlights the group that I'm over, the band, give this band a hand. These are some wonderful musicians, and I, I definitely appreciate everything and all the hard work that they put in. Professional musicians, and they show their professionalism all the time. So we're going to introduce them. We're going to start with the strings. Right here on lead guitar, we have Julian Hoover. On bass guitar, we got Mr. Donovan Phillips. Here playing, well, he's playing lead keys right now, but he plays organ and guitar, Mr. Adam Bailey. Back here on auxiliary, Mr. Doug Jones. The last one I need back here, Mr. Dominic Batten on drums. So down through the years, um, starting with the vision of my predecessor, Mr. Mike Blankenship, a world-renowned musician in itself. He was the music director for 10 years. And he's, I hate you. And he um, went on to do other things and he passed it the time to me. But this was his vision. And one of the things that he did was we started honoring um, musical influences that influenced all of our lives. They're not necessarily gospel, but we figured that we just honor him. And um, so we started off honoring Michael Jackson. A lot of y'all remember when we did Michael Jackson medley. Um, then when I make, came along, we honored uh, Maurice White with Earth, Wind and Fire. We honored um, Stevie Wonder. We honored uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays, um, the Gap Band, and, and Aretha Franklin all in one. Um, but this particular one that we did, we, we did it a couple of years ago. In 2016, we lost one of the one of the all-time great entertainers, um, Prince. And so, what we did that semester, the uh, spring semester of 2016, we paid homage to him, and we did a medley for him. We did a tribute for him. So tonight, we're going to play that tribute. We ask that if you know the song, sing along, get up and enjoy, and uh, just enjoy the, the fantastic work that these fellas have put in. I'm so proud of them, and I'm so proud to not just call them just some people that I call to play, but my true brothers and my friends. So um, without further ado, here we go.
Y'all give it up for the band. Oh yeah, give, them a, give it up one more time, real big, real big. We got two more songs and we done, two more songs. As the choir comes up, I love that. Can I hear y'all do that? Oh, y'all sound good. Yeah. One more time. Do it for Prince, y'all. Real nice. Come back on the stage, choir. experienced before. Um, I don't know if y'all have ever lost a loved one. Anybody? Yeah. yeah. Um, never lost anybody this close to me. And so uh, during this time, it's been really rough. There's been times where I really literally um, felt like, you know, I'm done. I, just being honest because it, like it hurt too bad. But thank God for pulling me through. So we go sing this song and uh, whew. this is for you, Grandpa. Pulling me through 
we slow down a Through all, through all
Thank you.